two people have been killed in India after a powerful cyclone made landfall in the eastern state of Odisha. Cyclone Fawny is the strongest storm to hit the region in over two decades, packing winds of about 200 kilometers per hour. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says his government will allocate $144 million for relief efforts. Authorities in several neighboring states like West Bengal and Andhra Pradesh have been put on high alert. But officials say that Fawny has already started weakening and they expect it to be downgraded to a severe cyclonic storm soon. Cyclone Fawny made landfall at 8 a.m. local time near the coastal city of Puri, packing winds of over 200 kilometers an hour. The storm had been gathering strength for the past few days in the Bay of Bengal, and by the time it slammed into India's eastern coast, Fawny was the equivalent of a Category 4 hurricane, one of the most powerful cyclones to hit the region in two decades. Heavy flooding and strong winds were reported throughout Odisha, uprooting trees and electricity poles throughout the state capital, Bhubaneswar. Authorities also warned of the total destruction of thatched houses, major damage to roads, and surging tides in low-lying areas. Over a million people have been evacuated from the path of the storm, and hundreds of search and rescue and relief workers are deployed in the area. And now we are first trying to evacuate the pregnant women and the lactating mothers and uh, uh, particularly the old people and people in thatched houses because they are more prone to danger. So we are just trying to lessen the human casualties so that uh, we can uh, give rehabilitation to the people. And uh, we are just arranging for, uh, I mean, the official people, they are arranging for all the milk and uh, whatever things they need in the rehabilitation center. Airports at Bhuvaneshwar and neighboring Kolkata are closed and dozens of trains traveling to and from the coast have been canceled. Cyclone Fawny is likely to head towards Chittagong in Bangladesh over the weekend, albeit in a weakened form. But authorities there remain on high alert, especially at Cox's Bazaar, where refugee camps are housing hundreds of thousands of Rohingyas. But the storm is not expected to hit camps there. And for more, let's go over to Rebecca Bundan in Mumbai. Rebecca, we, we saw a brief look, uh, we had a brief look at the situation in Odisha, but what's it like now? The cyclone has weakened significantly since it made landfall in the morning local time when winds were gusting at some 200 kilometers per hour. Um, it's now making its way uh, towards West Bengal going northwards and then it's expected to go on to Bangladesh in that weakened form but still uh, with the potential for, for damage to be caused. And we have uh, seen damage, uh, significant damage caused in uh, Odisha. Um, it, we, we've seen a number of trees uprooted there have been uh, a couple of deaths as well, including one person that was killed by a, a falling tree. Uh, there's also been significant damage to buildings. There has been uh, flooding as well. And really, the, 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 real, the full extent of this damage uh, still, has to be, uh, to, uh, still has to be assessed uh, uh, as this goes on. But, um, uh, but what we did see in this case was that authorities uh, took huge steps to prepare for the cyclone, which was originally categorized as an extremely severe uh, cyclonic storm and it, they evacuated uh, more than a million people moving them to shelters uh, particularly from uh, low-lying areas which w were at risk of flooding and areas that were uh, at high risk along the coastline of being uh, hit uh, by the, the cyclone. Uh, they also warned fishermen not to go out to seas given uh, the, the, the risk uh, out there with the dangerous waters. There are also a lot of uh, army uh, personnel on the ground, the Navy, the Coast Guard, uh, National Disaster Response Forces, everybody was on standby. So you can see that, that huge, words, uh, huge steps were taken to, to try and uh, limit uh, damage and casualties. So significant damage in Odisha, Rebecca, but it is one of the poorest states in India, heavily reliant on agriculture. How might Fawny affect crops and farmers' livelihoods there now? 
Absolutely, a lot of crops uh, have been destroyed in, in this, uh, in, in by this cyclone, and as, as the heavy rains continue, uh, that's likely to do further uh, damage to crops as well. So that's a major concern. Again, that that full extent of the destruction still has to be uh, fully assessed, and the government is providing uh, relief, and the authorities are, are working on this. But um, it comes at a time when uh, India is going through a general election. Of course, uh, Odisha has has voted, but still, in this case, uh, the, the relief operations, uh, how the government uh, prepared, how it responds to this, will be something that's very, very closely watched uh, during uh, this election period. Of course, uh, in previous years, uh, when there have been cyclones that have caused a significant number of deaths and destruction, there's been uh, heavy criticism of governments in India. For example, in 2017, uh, Cyclone Oki, which hit the south coast of India and resulted in more than 200 people being killed in the country and caused it caused millions of uh, dollars worth of damage. Uh, then if we go back 20 years to 1999 uh, there was a, a cyclone classified as a super cyclone which hit Odisha, uh, the same uh, state which has been affected by Cyclone Forney and in that case close to 10,000 people were killed.